Well, you're right, guys. There's more to the humble cucumber than just salads. So here we go with 12 delicious cucumber dishes. Okay, there is one salad in there, but it's a bit different. Smashed cukes. So we've got a nice cucumber, just um, an outdoor ridge cucumber, a small one, just for a one single portion. You can obviously uh, use bigger ones. Light soy sauce, rice wine, uh, some garlic powder, bit of a spring onion, a little bit of chili oil, and two teaspoons of caster sugar. Now, this is where you vent your aggression. And we're going to smash the cucumber. Now the camera's going to jump at this, I think. Yeah. There we are. I do. I'm going to take the end off. Take the end off. Okay, just cut it in about, I'm going to do one centimetre slices, roughly. I say slices because it's all in little pieces, but basically held together. And that one hadn't fallen apart very well, so I'm going to smash that open. Drop it in the bowl. Okay, in with the uh, two teaspoons of sugar. I'm doing two teaspoons of everything, okay? Two teaspoons of the rice wine. You can use black or white rice wine. Two teaspoons of the light soy sauce. Oops. <laughs> right, the spring onion. I'm just going to cut the end off. don't want that. All I'm going to do is nice little slivers is what we want. Here we go. Okay, uh, where are we? Right, garlic. I'm going to put just a little bit of garlic in. You can use whole garlic if you want, crushed. Doesn't matter. Right, and this is the, uh, the, the one chili oil. Now, this is quite warm, this chili oil. <laughs> I think the skull gives it away. So I'm just going to put. Uh, let's have a think about this. Maybe, what's that? It's a quarter of a teaspoon. So I'm going to put just a little bit in. Well, that's not even a quarter of a teaspoon. And there we are. Give it all a good mix up. See, so nothing fancy this one, it's just a side dish. into a bowl and then there we are ready to eat with whatever meal you're having so let's try a little bit mm, mm. sweet spicy and warm lovely jubbly okay then salt and vinegar cucumber crisps vinegar salt pepper olive oil but first of all we need to slice the cucumber it's a ridge cucumber again, so it's got lumps on it. All you've got to do is rub the pips off the outside. I'm going to take the end off a little bit there. And very, very carefully with my mandolin, just going to keep it flat and do small slices. Now watch your fingers, because I'm not using the safety guard for this. So when I get to the bottom, I'll stop. One more. There we are. They're done. Spread these out a bit, I'm going to pat them dry, just a little bit. It doesn't really matter that much because they're going to get soaking wet again in a minute anyway. Just take a bit of moisture off them. You could do this with a bigger one, I'm just using a small one for now because there's only little on me. Okay, in the bowl. In the bowl, right. About half a teaspoon of salt. About the same with pepper, black pepper I'm using. And vinegar. Just guessing. And a bit of oil to help them cook a little bit. Olive oil. That's it. Okay. Give them all a good coating. Onto a lined baking uh, rack, oven rack with them. You can do them in the dehydrator. But I find it quicker in the oven, so I'm doing these in the oven. Can go in the air fryer if you've got an air fryer. Okay then, in the oven, um, about 80 Celsius um, for as long as it takes. I'll check them after an hour and turn them over. And I'll bring you back when they're all done. 
Well, they're a little bit smaller than when they went in. Um, three hours at 90. I put 90 in the end, 90 Celsius. So, hey, crispy, lovely. Let's try one. Yeah, different. Hmm. Oh, you can taste the vinegar. Mm, and salt and pepper. Yeah, great, great. Wait, right um, let's just store those for later on. Nice one. Okay then, cucumber kimchi. And for this we need about 200 grams of cucumbers, nice small ones. Bit of salt, and this is for salt in the cucumbers. It doesn't go into the actual dish itself. A couple of cloves of garlic. Two spring onions. These have got a little bit big, but they'll be okay. Piece of ginger. Um, what's that? Just about a thumb size, I suppose. A big thumb size. Um, right, chilli powder. Mm, tablespoon of this. As warm as you like. This one, this one is... Let's have a quick taste. Yeah, that's right, yeah. It's, um, it's a one chilli out of five chilli ratings. So it's not too hot. And two teaspoons of sugar, fish sauce, and rice wine vinegar. Rice vinegar. All right, we don't need any of this now. That was her off with. Just the cucumbers and the salt. So I'll put that to one side. And all we're going to do with this, I'm going to put them in a bowl, top and tail them. Just a little bit, just take the ends off, you know. No one wants the rough ends, do they? A bit. I just slice them lengthways. All we want then is about, yeah, about three millimeter slices. Nothing exact with my cooking, as you know. Okay, in the bowl. And all we can do now is sprinkle that with the salt. Maybe. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter how much it is, teaspoon, more than a teaspoon, doesn't matter because it's going to be all washed off anyway. Okay, we'll put that to one side for 30 minutes and come back. Okay, now while the cucumber is salting, we'll get the rest of the ingredients ready. Uh, about a thumb-sized piece of ginger. Use a spoon to take the skin off. Get rid of that little piece there, that's going to be awkward. Okay, then really finely chopped. So I'm going to do it this way. Okay, ginger ready, and the spring onions. Okay, onions done, garlic next. Okay then, into the uh, kilner jar with all the ingredients. So uh, that's the two teaspoons of sugar, tablespoon of chilli powder and the garlic onion and ginger two tablespoons of rice vinegar two half a teaspoon of fish sauce can be a bit overpowering this so don't go too mad with it right let's give that a quick stir up Looks like kimchi already. Okay now, so here's the cucumbers and I hope you can see how much liquid's come out. Right, so I'm just gonna go and rinse these and uh, we're nearly finished. Okay now, so here they are all uh, rinsed and drained. I'm just gonna give a, just a gentle pat dry. Nothing, not gonna go mad. Okay then, into the kimchi mixture. Well, most of them anyway. <laughs> Give it a good stir in, and all those lovely flavours will be absorbed over the next day or so. So I'm just going to leave that in the fridge now, 24 hours, and uh, I'll bring it back tomorrow. All right, guys, here we go then. That's been a day now with the old kimchi. A little bit of moisture in the bottom, right? I think. Uh, well. Let's get on with it, eh? No point messing about. Mmm. <laughs> oh, 
it's all in there. Yeah, I got the garlic, ginger, and uh, oh, the, yeah, the chilli's coming through now. Yeah, and that's um, that's pleasantly warm. It's not hot at all, really. And that'll get even better over the next couple of days. Nice one, that. Happy with that one. Happy with that. Okay, then another dish that needs uh, salting is a quick pickled cucumber. This is one that you make and use it in the same day. It's not really a storing dish. So we have uh, white wine vinegar, salt, teaspoon of coriander seeds, tablespoon of sugar, small handful of dill, and a cucumber. Okay, top and tail the cucumber as usual. Eh, half the cucumber, I think. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to spiralise it. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that'll do. Put in the calendar over a bowl, and we're just going to put loads of salt in. Again, don't worry about how much salt you use. You're going to rinse it off anyway. And we'll leave that one for about a quarter of an hour. Okay, so they've been salting for 15 minutes. I've rinsed them under the tap in the colander. And all we do now, we're going to, rather strangely, we're going to wring them out. Squeeze them dry. That'll do. And then... Oh. And then straight into the jar with them. And then it's just in with the other ingredients. Coriander seeds, tablespoon of caster sugar. Right, you've got, I'm just gonna pluck the leaves off the dill, nothing too fancy. But take the stalks off, I mean. Wilts quite quick, doesn't it? And last but not least, tablespoon or two of the uh, white wine vinegar. Now I'm gonna see how it goes before I decide if I put a second one in. Yeah, I'm going to put a second one in. There we are then, quick pickled cucumbers for eating the same day or the following day. They won't store too long. I haven't even bothered putting a rubber uh, seal on the lid, look. But I'm going to leave them in the fridge now and uh, have a taste later. Okay, then that's been just over an hour since I uh, put the quick pickled cucumbers in the fridge. So it's time for a quick taste test. Mmm, crunchy, vinegary and sweet. Mm. And the dill's there. Oh yeah, coriander. That's nice. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm, 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 mmm. Dig well, thumbs up for that one. Hmm. Okay, then a dead quick one. This a soothing, cooling cucumber rata. Greek yogurt. I'm going to use about 200, 250 grams of that. Half a cucumber. Some. I'm using flat leaf parsley. You can use coriander if you want. I'm not a great fan of uh, coriander, see. And some mint leaves. So first thing to do is, I'm going to prep the uh, the herbs first. So what I'm going to do with the mint, I'm going to sort of try and roll it into a little cinder, like that. There we are, and i got a bowl. So I'm going to put gee, most of it in the bowl, and the rest is going to be for dressing. So I'll put that to one side, as long as the wind doesn't blow it away. Right, same with the parsley, but I only want the leaves, really. Now, this is um, uh, one of those dishes that every family in, uh, well, India, I suppose, has got their own recipe for this. You can put salt in it. You can put any herbs you want. Uh, you can dust it with cumin powder or anything you want. But I want this to be a cooling one. So I've got a feeling I may need something to cool my mouth down 
after I've eaten the kimchi. <laughs> I'll do. Greek yogurt. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's what it's last night, look. Yeah, that's about half a pot. Right, I'm going to make this one slightly crunchy. Chunky, so not crunchy. Take the skin off, don't need the skin. You can leave it on, like I said, everyone's got their own method, you know. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have this and scoop the insides out, scoop the seeds out because I don't want it to be too runny. If you've got a really thick yogurt, and Greek yogurt's not too bad actually, you've got a really thick yogurt, you could actually grate the cucumber. Right, and I want, I say chunky, so I'm just going to slit it this way. Okay then, <laughs> what a mess. Okay then, there we are, all mixed in. And just before presenting it to your guests, sprinkle the rest of the mint on top. There we are, and I think it's time for a little taste. Mmm. Yeah. There we are then, a soothing, cooling cucumber rata. Mmm, 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 mmm. Cucumber and Branston pickle sandwiches. An old favourite of mine, really, really is. Dad used to make this every day for me at school. Take to school because I was a bit of a fussy eater. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Okay, and my change to the norm is I put the Branston on both slices. <laughs> Lovely. And there we are, my old school favourite, cucumber Branston pickle sandwiches. Mm, mm, mm. That brings back memories. I'm going to eat all of them now. Okay then, here we go with cucumbers served with a white garlic sauce. And for this I'm using small cucumbers because they're going to be uh, cut lengthways. Red wine vinegar, some toasted almonds. I've got flake sea salt for the dressing and just ordinary table salt for the, uh, the extracting of the moisture from the cucumbers. Clove of garlic and some uh, olive oil. But first off, we got to get the moisture out of the cucumbers again. So here we go. So cut them in half and cut each half into three. Right. Okay, so in a bowl with that lot. And what we're doing this time, we're adding red wine vinegar to the salting process as a marinade. Only about, uh, ooh, I don't know, two teaspoons, a bit more perhaps. And then in with the salt as before. Like I keep saying, don't worry about the salt. It's going to get washed off. Uh, we'll set that to one side, leave it about 10 minutes, not too long. Meanwhile, we will uh, finely chop the garlic. Just makes it easier to blitz, doesn't it? I'll take about a third of the almonds and just coarsely chop them. These are going to be used for the dressing on top. Okay, that's all the prep work done, I think. Okay, then we're nearly there with the uh, salt in the cucumbers. So we get things ready, a little mini blender. Um, I've got, what's that, about a quarter of a cup of cold water. And I'm going to add about the same amount of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, in with the garlic. In with the, uh, the remainder of the toasted almonds. About a teaspoon of the red wine vinegar, just a guess. 
And then we're going to blend it. Okay, that'll do. Okay, I've drained the excess liquid off the cucumbers. Ooh. Time to prep. <laughs> it might be a bit messy, this. My bit of sauce in the bottom of the serving dish. And we're just going to lay the cucumbers out nice and neat. Okay, drop more sauce on top. Sprinkle over your coarsely chopped toasted almonds and a little sprinkle of flaked sea salt. You can obviously miss this step out if you want. And there we have cucumbers in a white garlic sauce. And it wouldn't be right without a taste test, would it? Mmm, very nice. Okay guys, a lightly spiced day pickled cucumber. And I call them day pickles because you want to eat them the same day really. Um, what we got then? White, white wine vinegar, small cucumbers again, about a teaspoon of chilli flakes, teaspoon of sugar. I've got uh, flake sea salt, I'm going to use that. And the dill and the lemon juice are for later on, when we uh, just before we serve up. So I'll put those to one side. And the rest of it, <laughs> you've probably seen this all before. <laughs> Top and tail them, all oh, the sun's come out. And I'm going to put them in this jar straight away. Quarter them again. They should fit in actually, yeah. If you've got any really thin cucumbers, you can just halve them rather than quarter them. So uh, in with the rest really, chilli flakes. Sugar, about two teaspoons of the salt flakes, just guessing and about a quarter cup of the uh, vinegar and that's it I'm going to give that a bit of a shake up just hope the lid's sealed properly here we are then I'm going to leave that about an hour then we'll serve it up with the dill and the lemon juice quick one okay then these lightly spiced cucumber pickled cucumbers have been in the fridge for a couple of hours I'm going to pour most of this liquid away and come back to you I think that sun's come out now, hasn't it? Right, in with the chopped dill and a good splash of lemon juice. You can use fresh lemon. I've only got this, so that's what I'm going to use. Ooh. And as I say, these are um, day pickles again, so you want to use them today, really. Right, let's see what we got, eh? And just present these on the serving plate however you want really. There we are. Oh, I'm just gonna have to try one. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, that vinegar has really soaked in, that's nice. Mmm. Mmm. That's a keeper. Mmm. I don't know why I've taken one out, I must have just eat these, haven't I? Okay then guys, the only salad you'll see today in this, uh, in this mix, uh, a Thai salad. Um, cucumber, little gem lettuce, and I'm using coriander this time, mint bean sprouts, that's for the actual salad, and for the dressing we've got a rice vinegar, fish sauce, uh, light muscovado, sugar, and two chilies. And I'm going to make the dressing first, but um, I'm going to get these bean sprouts in the proper bowl out of the way because they're going to go a bit dry otherwise. Okay then, a couple of chilies. These are a basket of fire. Just going to finely chop them. You could take the seeds out if you want. I don't bother. But I am going to go and wash my hands straight after this. Because I've made that mistake far too often in the past. Okay, a tablespoon of fish sauce. That's quite a lot actually. Ooh. Teaspoon of the rice vinegar. Now we've already got the uh, teaspoon of light muscovado in there. 
So I'm just gonna give that a good mix up. And that's it, as soon as the sugar's dissolved, that is it. So on with the um, salad itself then. So, gonna use most of this cucumber, I think. Yeah, that'll do. And we're making ribbons. Okay, then in the bowl with them. I'm gonna give it a bit of a mix up already, actually, to save the big mix up at the end. Right, little gem lettuce. Just gonna finely shred it, so cut it lengthways and just. in the bowl with that as well. We've got mint and coriander in here. There we go. And in with the uh, dressing. guys make it a bit more presentable and that is ready for serving now so I can have a quick taste I've got a feeling it's going to be a little bit warm in places mmm very nice mmm it didn't take long for the chilli to come through mmm oh. right another simple one Okay then guys, it had to happen sometime with outdoor filming. Um, the family out the back decided to start trimming their hedge. <laughs> so here we go with Mediterranean cucumber cups or med cute cups. One and a half cucumbers, olives, tomatoes, black pepper, dill, lemon juice, a bit of mustard, feta cheese, and I've got a few chives to go in there as well. So all we're going to do with this dish is make some cups out of the cucumbers and stuff them with a filling. So the filling is chopped chives, some chopped dill. You notice that dill goes with a lot of cucumber recipes. Quarter or half the cherry tomatoes. These are tumbler. Uh, I grow these myself in the hanging baskets out the front. One of my favourites actually. More chopping. This time it's the turn of the olives. I've just used a handful. And fairly finely chop them, you don't want them too big. In with some black pepper. A good dollop of mustard, I used whole grain this time. And crumble in some feta, I used half a packet, I think I said about 150 grams, something like that. And about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. You've got to have olive oil in a Mediterranean dish. Get the filling all mixed up and set it to one side while we make the cups. Cut the cucumber into three inch lengths. I did a fancy pattern on a few of them with my little uh, fluting tool. And all we do then is scoop them out. You can use a melon baller or a spoon or a knife, whichever suits you best. Just be careful not to go through the bottom of the cucumber. <laughs> if you're using a knife, it's a good idea to put your finger on the blade and it gives you a, like a depth gauge. There we are then, all done. And I've saved the scoopings to use in a dish later on. Time to fill them up now. Load them up. Try and get a bit of everything in each one and, uh, well, try and get them fairly even. Stack them on the plate and then they're ready to serve. Here we are then, all done, despite the neighbour's hedge trimmer and the uh, the sun and the clouds <laughs> really messing up the video. But now uh, they look all right. Uh, better of a taste, I suppose. Yes, and it was, as you can imagine, it was very nice. Maybe one to impress people at a party. Okay then, nice simple one for you. Cucumber and borsin wrap with a few chives and I'm using the garlic and herb borsan. So first of all, let's get this light out of the way. We're going to, uh, yeah, we want to peel the cucumber. And quite finely chop it. They don't need to be too small, obviously. I may not need all that. I 
I like Borsan. I love the pepper one. So what we do now is we're going to spread this all over the wrap as much as you want. Here we are. I've probably got far too much cucumber here. And chive. Tell you what, a little bit of pepper, why not? I'm just going to tightly roll it up. There we are, a very, very, very quick snack. Mm. Okay then, time for a soup. And not your common or garden cold gazpacho cucumber soup. We're doing a warm cucumber soup and it will be a bit creamy. Uh, the only ingredient I'm not shown here is a yogurt. It's a bit warm outside, so I've left it in the fridge for now. So we got cucumbers. We need a, I don't know. <laughs> Volume wise, probably about four cups, and I used all the scraps from other dishes. Uh, an avocado, two cloves of garlic, some vegetable stock, cayenne powder, black pepper, an onion, lemon juice, salt, oh, I think, oh, water, yeah, water for the stock cube, and some olive oil, and that's it. So, what I'm going to do first of all, get all the ingredients ready, and I'm going to do them in my soup maker, just as easy to do it on the stove top. All you need to do is um, soften the garlic and the onion first of all and then just make the soup, put it all in and boil it down and blitz it at the end and add the yoghurt. But I'm going to do it in there because um, well, it's easier for me. So If you're doing this um, on the stove top, you're going to want to chop things a little bit finer. But um, Mine's going in the... this soup maker's got um, a chopping function and a sauté function. So yeah, it saves a bit of time, doesn't it? Okay then, so I'm going to put some oil in the soup maker to start off with. Ooh. Saute. I say most of the cucumbers done already from the previous dishes, but yeah, might as well use me a uh, rich cucumber. Okay, cucumber done. Avocado. Oh, that worked. Well, right, this one. Okay, in with the stock. In with the mix, I reckon. I'm going to put about half a teaspoon of cayenne in there. I don't want it too hot. A teaspoon of black pepper, which my teaspoon don't fit in there, so that'll be two halves. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of salt, but you can leave this out. There we go. Okay, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. There we go. And the water. To make the stock, and I think that's everything. Um, well, there's nothing left behind we haven't used, so it must be ready. <laughs> We're making 
a smooth soup. 30 minutes, there we go. Okay, they're all done. I'll tell you what, it smells lovely. Right, you can have this warm, you can have it cold. I'm going to put some of this in the freezer, so I'm not going to put the yogurt into the whole lot. I'm just going to put the yogurt into my little bowl for now, okay? Oh, look at that, lovely and creamy. Oh, Uh, a little dollop of, uh, well, I'm going to use Greek yogurt, any yogurt will do. Well, we have a taste, haven't we? <laughs> oh, that's nice. And that is just the right amount of cayenne. It's not hot. It's there, but it's not hot, you know? Well, I'm liking that. Yep, that's another one to go on the uh, the keeping list. Hmm. Oh, excuse me, guys. I'm going to finish this one off. You can dress it with a bit of coriander or um, flat leaf parsley if you want. Chives, whatever. I'm not going to bother. It's quite nice as it is. The cucumbers are the star of the show here, isn't it? I'll tell you what, that's beautiful. <laughs> Did I sound like one of the trolls out of The Hobbit? Oh, that is beautiful, that is. <laughs> oh, that is really good. That is really, really nice. Cuke soup, first of the eighth, 2023. Well, I hope you've enjoyed these guys. 12, well, I think they're quite quick and simple recipes, really. So 12 quick, simple, delicious recipes for using up your glut of cucumbers or your plethora of cucumbers. I've done similar videos for courgettes and squash, so I'll stick those on the cards at the end, okay? So look after yourselves, guys. Take care, and I'll catch you on the next video.